just so you guys know, like this picture that I took is the view from the balcony of the house that we were staying at. So, can't ask for a better view than that. Now, family time. We've had two really, really long days in the car, but we're finally here. We're really excited, but it is time to say goodnight. There's obviously a storm coming in. So it's our first full day in Telluride. We wake up, look outside at the beautiful mountains, and it's raining. Still pretty, because everything's so like bright green and everything, and we're coming from California where everything's dry and dead, but this time of the year. But rain's pretty intense, like so we're we're gonna hold back a little bit before we before we head out. Alright, so we're heading out to our brother-in-law's and sister's property on the other side of Telluride. This is the first time we've seen it, so we're pretty excited loading up the whole family, all 14 of us, and heading out to check it out. So to get to the property, we have to go around on one side of downtown Tullyride, we get to drive through, and if you've never been to Tullyride, it is like the epitome of small town, nostalgic, great foods, so little boutique restaurants, boutique stores, everybody's really friendly, and, and so we're cutting through that, and I get to hang out there quite yet, but we're cutting through there, heading out to the property. It's about 20 minutes outside of Tullyride, we actually have to head up this like dirt road. We're, and we're all thinking, okay, where the hell are we going? We've never been here before. We're winding and we finally get out of the trees and kind of head up and it's starting to open up a little bit. We finally get up to the top and we see it and we go, oh, okay, I get it. Like this right here is, this is their view. This is the view they're gonna have from their house. So to actually get out to the property, there's not a road to, they don't even have a road yet. It's like literally just property. So we all had to park and then walk like a, quarter of a mile to actually get to it so it's like a, a second adventure pretty fun anyways so this is pretty cool we're doing meeting the neighbors and meeting with the architect to just to meet everybody and show everybody the property and all the people that are working on it and stuff so this is pretty cool and again I cannot get over how beautiful it is here. It is unbelievable. I mean, look at this. I don't even think this transfers well. You, If you have not been here, man, do yourself a favor. And of course, you gotta take the family pictures. Don't forget the fun one. To top it all off, we got to see a bear. Uh, we see it. Yeah, we're taking pictures. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Where's the uh, mother That's bear? That's why we're going. So we leave the property, head back down to the Tully Ride, and actually head up the hill to a place called Mountain Village, which is just a huge resort in overlooking Tully Ride. You get to take a, a gondola up. It's not like I've been on there. We can only, uh, yeah, take some capacity. Did you just count? Yeah. And if you guys have not been on a gondola ride at 12,000 feet in Tully Ride, Colorado, I highly suggest it. It's a beautiful place. and it's raining again so probably not the best place to be when there's rain and lightning and stuff is the tippy top of a mountain with you know totally totally exposed to to everything but we did get to see this one really cool thing before we headed back down you can see that right there yeah this place has a lot of rules that's the airport that's the landing strip I can't see, see all it. around it 
I'd rather look at it. Those are cliffs. No big deal. 